let me tell you how I photographed Kate Moss in the early 2000s at a fashion after party. Here's the full story and the photos themselves, of course. Check out the timestamp to jump to the photos, but I recommend sticking around for the full story. In the summer of 2005, I was invited to photograph bands playing at a Dior Arm after party when Eddie Sleman was their designer. When I got the invite, I didn't know that Kate Moss was going to be there. It was a big event in a mid-sized Paris venue called Le Triptyque. My first celebrity sighting was at the entrance of the venue, and it was none other than Karl Lagerfeld. I was so taken aback that I didn't even think about taking a photo. Once inside, I positioned myself right by the stage to photograph the bands. That was until I felt I was being doused with champagne. Since the venue was very dark, I had to resort to taking photos with Flash to find out who the heck was throwing champagne around. That's when I saw Pete Doherty, the Baby Shambles and Libertine Shrumpman, a famous musician. I took a few photographs, tracking as he moved towards stage left. That's when I realized Kate Moss was right next to him. If memory serves me right, Kate Moss had started dating him earlier that year. Pete Doherty then took to the stage to sing a couple of songs with one of the bands. I think they were called the Paddingtons. Soon after, as the crowd realized that there were celebrities, they must have started mobbing Kate Moss by the wall, so she moved to the front and crouched right by me as I was taking photos. Eventually, Neil Tennant of synth-pop duo Pet Shop Boys came to find Kate Moss and whisked her away. Frankly, it was all quite surreal. It was like being in the middle of a celebrity sandwich. Nevertheless, I kept photographing the event before heading out in the early morning and catching a metro home. And that is how I managed to photograph Kate Moss in the early 2000s.